Hey up. Morning. So, today, welcome to a new travel vlog. And today we're doing something a little bit different, but it's a little bit different to us because we've never done it before. And it's been on my bucket list ever since I was 15 and not able to go on the school skiing trip because um, we were poor. Um, <laughs> so today we are flying from Manchester to Geneva and then across to Chamonix for five nights um, skiing with our friends um, who are avid skiers. We are not. We've had a couple of lessons. I won't say, I won't say we're great. Um, but we're going to give it a go. We've never been skiing before, <coughs> so we're really looking forward to it. The time now is quarter past six. Uh, we're going to head over to Manchester because there's been some horror stories about the queues in security. And our flight's at 11 o'clock from Manchester to Geneva. So, see you there. Bye. So, we are on the road. I am suitably in my skiing attire. If anybody in Manchester Airport wants to know that I'm not going to Tenerife, this is that outfit. Say hello, Stephen. Morning. So we've been to um, Mackel, Mackel, Mackel D's, Mackel D's. Um, McDonald's for a, a coffee just to pert us up in the morning. Um, I've not been overly well the last three or four weeks, um, just with a cough. Um, I've woke up this morning with a very sore throat. Luckily, no PCR test or lateral flow test required to enter Switzerland. Um, so one is okay. Um, one doesn't have um, COVID anyway. Um, I had it in December. Not like you can't get it twice, but I'm just saying I'm not travelling, you know, We've also been without consideration. As well. you what? We've also been regular checking as well. Yes, we've been regular checking. So, yeah, we are on our way to Manchester Airport to catch our EasyJet flight. Uh, at 11 o'clock into Geneva and then we're getting the Alpi bus from Geneva into Chamonix which should take around about an hour and ten minutes. People can't get clue what Alpi bus is. So Alpi bus is a transfer from Geneva airport to Chamonix, so the ski resort. Um, I think it was like 60 quid for both of us one way because um, his friends were dropping us off back at the airport and now they said that they can't because the car's full so we've booked it again and the price was the same, £60 for both of us. Um, so that'll be interesting actually to see the views. Um, from a cost perspective, um, flights to Geneva were really cheap at about 35 quid 35 each. quid each. About £35 each. We're coming back Jet 2. Um, and they were about the same to be fair uh, we have selected the seats on on the on this flight and we've checked in some large cases I say large cases they're only medium cases but they class them as a large case um, so yeah we've got row one right to the front sit down legs stretched out not like my legs are that big anyway um, and yeah we'll enjoy that so um, let's head over Woodhead um, to Manchester Airport with an ETA of 7.49 So whilst I'm talking about the Alpi bus, actually after we booked the Alpi bus, we got a voucher through for ski hire from Intersport in Chamonix. And actually, the ski hire, we hired skis, poles and boots because we've already got our own helmets. Uh, I think it was about, how much was it? I can't remember, but really cheap. Cheaper than what I thought it would be. I think it was right? about 40 quid each. Um, and we've got the ski hire for three days, so we're skiing Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, but you can pick your skis up, your, 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 all your equipment up the day before, which is great. So when we get there today, um, which should be about three, four, five o'clock, we'll go go down and pick up the ski hire. I mean, anybody that's new to wearing ski boots knows how uncomfortable ski boots are. <laughs> it's not so bad whilst you're skiing, uh, but if you stood still for a long period of time in your ski boots, they are not very comfortable. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, they're at least bearable for long periods. 
Um, so yeah, just thought I'd mention that. Many book your Alpi bus, voucher, Intersport, um, ski hire. Now, let's take the sights of Woodhead. I think the thing with Woodhead is, because we come over here on a regular basis, so we've seen, we've seen this hundreds of times, this, these views, I don't think we probably appreciate how beautiful it is. Um, I know some people who have never done this route and then come through are like, oh my God, it's, it's the most beautiful scenic drive ever and we're just like yeah but it is it has also been absolute pain as well because if ever there's an accident and they ever generally quite serious if it snows it always shows in fact we've actually got a web page telling you about specific congestion accidents potholes yeah Stephen would be all over that type of website yeah This bridge sometimes has flooded in past. Yep, I've been over Woodhead many a times on a Friday and Saturday night heading to Manchester and the town. It's weird because it's a Tuesday morning, but it just doesn't feel like a Tuesday morning because obviously we're not working. Obviously not working. So we are just at Mottram. I've had to stop off at McDonald's because I needed a toilet. Um, I didn't want the toilet this morning. But then after my cappuccino went straight through me. Well done. <sighs> oh, Stephen, give it some Paul Thompson. <laughs> Paul Thompson. <laughs> um, that's just a reference to somebody who used to drive very fast. Um, ETA, we've got 29 minutes left. Um, before we get to Manchester Airport, I feel much better after going to the toilet. I mean, I wouldn't normally go to a public toilet, especially McDonald's for a pool, but when you need one, you oh, need one. Bit of nervous there. Well, nervous poo, you know what it is when you, before you fly, you need a little nervous poo poo. Um, I'm looking forward to getting through security, sitting down with a nice cold pint. Mind to even have a pint of Guinness with it being Paddy's Day in a couple of days. I do like Guinness though. I do like Guinness. I do like a couple of Bevraginos before getting on an aircraft. Helps the process. And um, this is probably the shortest flight, I think. Oh no, it's not the shortest flight I've ever been on. I went from Manchester to Inverness. Yeah, but in a long time it's shortest yeah. flight. And then I went from Inverness to Stornoway, which was quite a um, a short flight when, I, when we filmed four weddings. Um, all on my own, by the way. Um, but well, this is a short flight. I mean, we've not been on a flight since November 2019, when we came back from Florida. Seems crazy, doesn't it? Absolutely crazy. And the government announced yesterday um, that you don't need to fill a form in on your way back. And I mean, you know, people are like... Your passenger locator form. So your passenger log, sorry, the, the van was pulling out. Um, a passenger locator form. And people like, yeah, buzzing, buzzing. I'm thinking it's a, it's a form. Do you know what I mean? It's not a big deal anyway. But if it takes the stress out of travelling for some people, and that means that some people can then go away or feel better going away because they don't have to fill a form in, then um, garage to them. Right, where are we now? I've no idea. I don't know where this place is. Always looks a bit run down, but we are coming into Manchester. It's a cheeky song. So we're currently sat in Giraffe in Terminal 1. Uh, we've just sat down. Uh, we've already been to um, Bar MCR for a pint of Estrella. So we're going to sit in here and have something to eat. Stephen's perusing the menu. What do you fancy, Stephen? I fancy bacon sandwich, but... I don't do one, <laughs> so I'm not going on. No. You could ask for one, I suppose. They're the breakfast option. You shan't be having granola. No. That again. That is a, a bacon and egg sandwich with an Estrella. And that is the airport. That is a big sandwich. 
So we've actually nearly landed. I didn't even realise so quick. Look. So we're just coming to land. It looks a little bit dull. Compared to Manchester anyway, it looks a bit dull. But so quick, honestly. Literally just asked me to eat on Virgin, going to Florida, so quick. been told to perform and go around. So we're in Queen to land and the next thing all engines lined up and off we go again. I find it quite funny. I don't think Jamie does but it's what it is. I got to eat there before they cut the speaking uh apologies uh just today uh, Mr Broach standard procedure here at uh, Geneva we just had an aircraft uh, ahead of us uh he'd been cleared to take off 
Uh, but he had to stop on the runway. Uh, I'm not quite sure the reason why, but he's uh, he's played off now. So we're just uh, going to make another approach down into Geneva. So probably added about another 10 minutes onto our expected arrival. Should be down there at about a uh, quarter to. Uh, apologies for that. And uh, I'll speak to you again on the ground. Thanks very much.